So recently, I thought of making a trading card game in Unity, or at least some sort of project. So I'm gonna start a dev vlog to try to document some aspect of it and the programming that comes with it in Unity. I have no idea where this will be going, and this will likely end in an unfinished project, but at least it can lead to some interesting description of some mechanics and how to implement them. The whole theme is this guy, Charles. And you may ask, why Charles? Well, I'm terrible at making 2D assets, and that is kind of the core of a TCG game. So I figured I'd embrace my lack of 2D asset making skill and go with a simple form for the art style. Besides, my main goal is to focus on the mechanics rather than the art, so this lad fits perfectly. The very first thing I decided to create was the basic hand where you can see the cards. I wanted some base view where you can draw cards, hover over them, and so far this is pretty simple. So right now I'm using the own Unity uh, UI system, and this is mainly because I'm really used to it, and it also felt better for my goal. But I have this feeling that I can't really shake off where I feel like this decision might be something I'm gonna regret in the future. So I guess we'll see. The view I had right now is every card is aligned next to each other. And while this is something you find in a lot of TCG games, I'd like it to be slightly more rotated, like I'm holding cards in my hand. So let's work on that. Okay, now this looks better. And I will come back to that later to have the cards look closer to each other. Having cards in your hand is fun, but you also need to play them. So I started working on implementing a drag and drop feature. Which works at first, but... Well, we need to prevent the player from yielding cards around. So I decided to create a landing zone where cards could be dragged to, and if they're not in the landing zone, then they would not move and go back to the hand. I started with an actual 2D object with a collider to detect movement, and that did not really work well. So after a bit of reflection, I decided to use an actual UI element here. I don't think using a 2D game object is that kind of appropriate. Okay, well, it's better, I guess. The same. I still need to work on that. All right, finally, the behavior I wanted. Oh, kind of. Well, it's good enough for now, and we'll come back to that. Now, I improved the cards in hand UI to have the cards closer to each other. It's quite simple. I just had to change the horizontal layout value here, and here we go, that's all we need to do, and this looks more like what I have in mind. Going forward, I wanted to attribute some unique values to the different cards before giving them actual properties. I just did the quick test run for the UI, and that's where I discovered that. So let's ignore this problem for now. The last thing I wanted to implement, or at least draw a sketch implementation of, is a take turn logic. So you have multiple rounds, and each player has a different turn. The main thing is I don't want to click on that ugly draw button anymore to see cards. Instead, I want to click on that even uglier end round button to show the next round and draw a card at the beginning of this next round. So I roughly sketched a play area with a placeholder for the deck, and I put this end round button right here. Here we go, we have some amazing base for a taking turn logic. It definitely needs more work, but I wanted to have a basis before getting into the actual card design. You may have noticed that every time we draw a new card, the whole hand gets updated with new cards, which is definitely not a behavior we want to have in a card game, except if it is just purely chaotic. So right now I'm just gonna call that a feature, so don't worry, it's not a bug, it's a feature, maybe I'm going for a chaotic vibe. Who knows? So I think this is gonna be it for this devlog, and I will see you in the next one, where I'm gonna try to implement the actual UI for cards and the actual cards with values, etc. So. I will see you then.